Laura told me you work in advertising. How did you get into that? I graduated with a degree in marketing. Started working for my father's company right out of college. So that's how you made the transition from school mascot. <laughs> God. That's one thing I was hoping you wouldn't remember. It must have been nice working with your dad. <laughs> no, it tore us apart, actually. Our approach to doing business was just 180 degrees apart. It used to take all day to do it. It should have only taken an hour. It used to drive me nuts. I just wanted to get on to the next deal, you know? It was a constant battle between us. And then one day we just, we just got into it. Right in front of everybody. I told him off. He told me off. I stormed out and uh, never. So, how long has it been since you've talked to him? He called last year on my birthday, but I didn't return his call. Do you think about him? No. Well, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> He's my father. <laughs> <laughs> then why don't you give him a call? There's no need to. Really. Really. I can't. I can't. So, uh, yeah, look, there's a bench. Uh, step, step up. For uh, this bench right here. All right. Yeah, right. I got it. So the last time I saw you, you were homecoming. Dating Mr. Perfect. And, uh, what happened? It was five years ago. I was still dating Mr. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We went to the lake with some friends to celebrate Fourth of July weekend. You know, race boats, get drunk, act like a bunch of crazy people. Yeah, I've done that a time or two. <laughs> We were sitting on the beach watching the fireworks. I remember it was an especially clear night. The stars were out. Jimmy Buffett was playing on the radio. And while we were waiting for the grand finale, someone threw their own fireworks into our camp. One of Brian's friends yelled out to warn us, but I turned and looked right into it. There was a bright flash and the biggest explosion you could ever imagine. Everything shook and everything went black. Dear God. The only thing I felt was the ringing in my ears. That's all I could feel for a long, long time. I'm really sorry. The one who took it the worst was my dad. He was supposed to take me and my brother whale watching that weekend. But he got sick, and needless to say, our plans changed. You're being unusually quiet, Mr. Langston. Please, say something. <sighs> You're amazing. That's nice to hear. About a year after I got out of the hospital, Brian left me. Oh, unbelievable. Actually, he was one of the last to go. <laughs> but it was long after he was gone, I realized people weren't leaving me because I was blind. They were avoiding me because I was angry. Real angry. Whatever happened between you and your father, you can fix that. I don't know. I don't know, there was a lot of damage done. Things were said that you... That you can't take back? Yeah. You couldn't have said anything remotely close to what I did to my parents.
Family is everything. Believe me. <laughs>